Ben, give us some of the statistics behind the growth because this was a side pro project for Life on Air and it was just eight weeks old when you said, scrap everything else, we're going to go full throttle into Meerkat. What sort of stats, what <laughs> yeah. sort of growth led you to make that decision? So um, my co-founder, Ty, uh, did that in eight weeks. Um, and we put it out on uh, February 27. And three, weeks, three days after, we started seeing more and more usage. And frankly, the statistics are that 20% of the people who watch a day, 20% watch minimum of two hours, 8% uh, watch minimum of three hours, and another that's on top of it. And on top of it, 4% uh, four, four watch uh, four hours. So you got around 30 to 35 percent of the people who watch who watch accumulative of um, four hours a day, between two to four hours a day. So that that was that blew our mind, and I just we just made a decision in the team to focus everyone just on this product. Um, yeah. Well, Ben, that's amazing engagement, uh, the sorts of numbers that VCs salivate over. I, I first found out about Meerkat. I was in the Madrid airport, and I saw Steve Sanofsky, who's uh, a VC with Andreessen Horowitz, streaming on Meerkat. I downloaded it and started streaming also. I can only imagine that investors are beating down your door, trying to hand you millions of dollars. Are you going to take more money? Uh, if so, what are you going to use it for? So our, our main focus right now, uh, and we have great investors, uh, our, our main focus right now is to continue the growth and duplicate and, and try to find more use cases. So we're going to South by Southwest, um, we're, trying to, we're going to meet uh, people all there and trying to find more and more sports use cases. We've seen uh, churches using it for their worship services. Um, so our main focus is more use cases and making sure that the product is not is going to be solid and working that every time you press that button uh, people will be tuning in and it will just work magically if facebook offers you a couple billion dollars will you sell it or twitter for that matter no we're we're, we're just focused completely on making this something awesome i think the community still is is amazing and it's still small and I think that if we really want to make a change, we'll need to have a bigger community and more people that are using the product and engaging with it and understanding that it's time to dissolve the, that line between watchers and broadcaster. And we try to do something that, you know, watchers are part of the content. And I think that's, what, that's the mission that it's more important here than to sell a company or not. Ben, the comparisons have been drawn to Snapchat, whether it's the simplicity of your logo, the color yellow, uh, the icon in the App Store, or the fact that the video disappears. Do you think that's a fair comparison? And, and what do you see as the future for disappearing content? Is that going to be here to stay? Well, first of all, I think Snapchat is an amazing company. And that's, that's a compliment to get. Uh, the, the reason we did uh, the content to disappear is not because we believe in ephemerality. It's more because that we believe that, you know, when, when we were kids, um, we took pictures and we had cameras and then a software came as a substitute and Instagram and we had this habit to, to take pictures and Instagram came and it was a natural transition to software. But we don't have this habit of streaming live video. It's something that we don't naturally have. And I think in, for us, the mission is to make sure that everybody feels comfortable with that. So in order to make this, and, and, and this is the real goal for us, to make sure that everybody is comfortable for going live and live stream their experience. And for, to make this thing comfortable, uh, we decided not to keep the streams later. But we do let you keep it on your phone and you can do whatever you want with it later. We're just in the business of participation. Uh, we're in the business of live and in real-time experience. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.